welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo here to do your love reading for the month of the ending, uh, the rest of December into January. This is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And um, yeah, please do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. And hello, everybody in the chat. Good to see you all. You can follow me on the social media. Um, links are below this video. All right, Virgo. So this is your love reading. Let's get into this. So as I was shuffling, three cards popped out. You have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Also, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And allow this situation to unfold naturally, Virgo. Let go of control issues. Okay, I just wanted to get like a couple of other messages here to see what else you might need to know. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> Very interesting way to start your reading. I feel like there is someone here that there's a realization. Um, maybe you've already met this person or you already know them. This is the romantic partner. Um, that you seek. This could be the person. This is true love, but there needs to be this forgiving and learning, okay? Um, releasing and healing so that there can be more love in the present and letting go of control issues. Did I already say that? Allow this situation to just unfold naturally. There's an energy here of not having to do anything. Just let it be. Just let things be as they may, okay? Um, so let's just get into this reading. I wanna see how this person feels about Virgo. What is the energy, this person's, my goodness, these cards are just like everywhere. How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about you, Virgo? Okay, you're starting with the moon, okay? This person's unsure about you. Um, the Eight of Cups, my goodness. Okay, and the Sun. So it's like, I feel, Virgo, that this person, they don't know, like, I do feel like they have hidden feelings for you, okay? Um, and with the Eight of Cups, it just gives me a sense, like, this person, they feel very positive about you, but something about this connection is like, they're very withdrawn. There's like a very withdrawn energy. Maybe there's no communication or you're not talking to this person currently. Um, I do feel like though this person, the Eight of Cups is always someone who's walking away to find their Ninth Cup and that's the wish come true. And I feel like this person does feel very positive that you are a wish for them, that you are like the fulfillment. You are the one for them. You are their true love. Okay, but they keep their emotions with the moon hidden. They keep it deep down inside. They don't reveal very much about how they feel about you. Um, they trust their intuition, okay, that they do have these deep rolling feelings for you, Virgo, okay? Um, but let me see your energy. What is your energy at this time with this person, Virgo? Okay. Okay. You have the Eight of Wands. So... Virgo, you're kind of like, I feel, I feel like you have like some kind of crush or you have like Cupid's arrows type feelings for this person. I don't know if they're like, they go really deep. Um, I don't know that they go really deep. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah, Seven of Swords because you're really attracted to somebody here, but it feels like you don't really trust this person. Part of you wants to like run away with this person, but the other part of you is holding on to control issues, not opening yourself up, um, not ready to forgive somebody. There's just this energy of, I feel like you're like, um, or maybe this person runs away or you feel like you're always chasing somebody here. These cards stick together. Why do all my cards I get stick? Okay, two of pentacles. So you're kind of like on a roller coaster ride with somebody here because you don't know what to think. I feel like this person doesn't reveal their feelings. Really, like they don't really give you much and maybe they just, they walk away from their feelings. They do maintain somewhat of a positive attitude or a sunny disposition. Um, they might be successful 
in a lot of areas in their life. It could be like their career or, you know, just the way they are, the way they, they, you know, exude themselves with like that sun energy, material, happiness, wealth, um, that kind of energy. But I feel like for you, you're undecided. Like, I feel like maybe you are still weighing your options about this person because I feel like it's between that eight of wands energy where it's like you want change or you want to connect with this person. You want to hear from somebody and like you have this passionate, fiery um, feeling for them. But at the same time, it feels like you don't trust them. Okay. It feels like you don't trust this person, Virgo. Um, let me see what else their feelings, other feelings, or what they think of Virgo, or what their feelings are for Virgo. Okay. Wow. So, page of wands. I mean, <laughs> Virgo, this person has like a crazy thing for you. They just don't reveal their feelings. They could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, um, could be a Leo. But this person, they don't reveal their feelings, but they message they instigate or not in smooth they do instigate but they message you or they will be and they're kind of like have ideas and plans and maybe things that they want to do or they want to connect with you in some way but again i just i don't know there's something here telling me that you're not so sure one minute you're yes and the next minute maybe you're no okay um ten of wands in the reverse interesting so I feel, Virgo, that this person, like they're really heavily burdened um, by, they know that they're like, I feel like they're heavily burdened by their feelings. And I feel like they're aware and they know that they got to tell you how they feel um, or what they want out of a relationship with you. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my, uh, I just saw my lights and they were like dying. I feel like this person with the Ten of Wands reverse, they know that it's a burden. They're carrying this burden. So I feel like they, um, they just have a crush or a thing for you. They really do have a thing for you, but they're not, I don't know if they're aware, if they have deep feelings or not. The sun is like exposure. And then the moon, they're two very contrasting energies and in between that, um, the eight of wands. So I feel like when this person gets close to revealing their feelings, they run away. Um, or then they come back and they share something with you and it feels good. And then they disappear again. And I kind of get a sense that you're, that's why you're undecided. Or are, are you just not sure what to think of this person? Okay. So king of potions, which is king of cups. So very deep emotions with this person king or queen uh, masculine or feminine energy very deep emotions with this person they show up very supportive tolerant empathetic nurturing and healing um but yeah it's i feel like they have very 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 deep feelings for you and they don't want to i don't know why they don't share it they kind of keep it surface you know or they let on that they're interested virgo i just feel like you're kind of confused or you don't know what to think or you don't know if you can trust it let me see what else is going on how else you feel about this okay the world in the reverse so you're stuck you're virgo i mean this thing you feel like you can't get out from under with this like it's unfinished business um uh some of you might like be sticking around or um like it's like some of you just feel like you can't get away from this it's like you're stuck it's like permanence uh, like a permanent feeling this chapter has not closed some of you are like just trying to get answers you want to try to like be able to weigh your options and make a decision about like what's the truth is this person really into you or are they not you're, you're just i feel like a lot of mixed feelings and it's it's making you confused okay here's the star yeah aquarius energy there's also scorpio taurus and um yeah i said leo okay and the tower okay and aries here um like virgo it's kind of like you're in this position here with the star and the tower it's like either this thing is going to heal or the tower is going to come and the whole thing is just going to break down and it's going to be done. And you're just going to destroy the whole thing. 
okay? Um, some of you are just like, you know, this could be, this could be the person for you. You know, this is the one for you. Some of you are definitely in that energy. Okay. And you're, you've been trying to let go of control issues or not control it. You've been trying to forgive and learn the lessons. You know, this is the true love, but yet this person is mixed up. They, they are just so confused. Um, in the sense of like, okay, they're not confused. They do, sh they do have feelings for you. I do feel that way but I, they don't show it. I don't, okay, so they give off mixed feelings. They give off mixed messages and mixed vibes because their actions don't really align with their words. And I kind, I feel like you guys are just like, this shit needs to come into alignment. Like, I'm going to need some bloody stumps here or I'm going to be single as a Pringle and I'm not dealing with it. Like, point blank, period. You are, you're just at your wit's end. You're definitely weighing your options right now. Um, like, because you feel stuck, you're weighing your options. Do I keep the hope alive with this, that this person is going to come around? Or do I just crash and burn? Am I done? Do I just let it end? Let me see what the energy this person's going to do going forward. If there's going to be any changes with Virgo's person, is anything like, is Virgo going to get any information here? Or is Virgo going to be the one to have to like unstick themselves from this? awful situation forgive and learn and let go okay wow so you get the ch this person has a chariot so yeah there's going to be movement forward i don't know what exactly is going on with this person i really don't um i'm not sure how the relationship went before or what might have happened um this is cancer energy but that that chariot is taking action that chariot energy is like getting in the car and setting the GPS, the coordinates, and saying, I know what I want, I know where I'm going, and I'm going to do it, okay? So this is like making change here with the chariot. So I do feel like this person is definitely going to come forward once they get it together, once they sort out in their mind, in their head, what it is that they need to do, what direction, like how they got to approach and come towards you, okay? And what are you going to do when this person comes towards you, Virgo? Wow, three of swords. For some of you, it might be too late. Some of you might actually break this person's heart and say, you made me wait too long. You were too confusing. Now you know. Now you know what you want to do. I feel like some of you are like, no, it is too late. You broke my heart. Or you may just reveal, or there may be an argument, and you may just reveal to this person, you know, you're coming towards me and all this, but look, I'm finished. Some of you just might actually get into that energy here. It is too late. Okay, now some of you, some of you are going to do that because why? There's a lot of control issues with somebody. Um, this person like just hid too much and I feel like that hurt you. Okay, they, they hid their feelings. They didn't express themselves fully. They didn't open up fully. Um, they were very, I guess it, it feels like on and off kind of energy. Okay, on and off. I just want to get one more card because I feel like some of you, is there anybody here that's going to just finally accept this movement towards them? Any of these Virgos here that are going to say yes to this person? Why is this card? Oh my gosh. Like, what is it glued? It's like glued together. Okay. Three of wands and the king of swords. Okay, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, some of you, I definitely feel like there's going to be a conversation. We have two threes here. Okay, there's going to be a conversation about either some type of interference, a third party interference, whether that's another person, if there was cheating, or, you know, if somebody put a, a third party obstacle or a third obstacle in the way of the relationship with that King of Swords energy, I feel like you're going to take that energy on. Okay, and be very intentional and strategic and total honesty with this person and honest about what, you know what, telling them, you know, I mean, if, if we're going to be together, we got to work as a team. We got to be in alignment. We have to work as a team. We have to talk about stuff. You know, I, I don't know that you, I still don't know that you're going to, you know, be, because I feel like just because somebody's coming towards you and they're going to take action, I feel like there's a lot of stuff to sort out here. 
And I don't feel like my lovely Virgos are the type of Zodiac that are just like, oh, okay, <laughs> just say, uh, come on back. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We won't talk about anything. We won't discuss any problems. We won't resolve anything. Um, we won't even talk. We'll just assume the position. I don't feel like some of you are going to be willing to talk and like ask questions and get to the heart of the matter about, you know, for some, like, why were these delays? Why didn't we make these plans? Why did we have all these setbacks? Like, why was there a lack of foresight, right? What was going on, okay? Um, some of you are gonna talk about it and others of you are just like, nope, it's a done deal, I'm out. I'm not getting involved. I don't wanna be involved in this anymore. You're flaky, how can I trust? If you're gonna come towards me and you're actually gonna take action this time, how do I know that this is real? How do I know that you're, you know, not that you, you might just be all talk. How do I know that you're just going to be for real? Um, are you going to come in and take action and do all the things, set your GPS, your coordinates, come at me and try to work things out and really resolve and go some, take this somewhere? Or are you going to just come in and then go out again? Chariots, a card of movement. <clears throat> so it is possible that this person could be coming in and you know just kind of being like oh no 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 i'm here i'm here and then take off okay some of you might live at a distance okay so the seven of pentacles in the reverse okay um giving up too soon there is so i feel like some of you need to just either you're going to break it off okay or you're going to have this conversation and give this person uh, some information about how maybe about why you're ending it um because the seven of pentacles in the reverse i do kind of get a sense this person does want to be with you you are their true love love they do feel like you are the one for them but at the same time they come in and then they might just say oh you know what i made these plans and you know i wanted to come towards you but i wasn't able to come towards you or something um, got delayed or something happened and that might be why you're like why these setbacks why these delays no nope, I'm done three of swords no I'm out of here like I'm not waiting I just feel like some of you are going to be in that energy where you know you, some of you might just be like you know I forgive you I've learned my lesson I'm moving on I'm looking for my true love yes I did feel like you were the one for me but I'm letting go of this control issue in myself where I have this need to hold on or this need to keep hoping okay um, I'm going to go into the extended reading to see if after a conversation, anything changes from this person. So the link will be below the video if you have any interest to see. But for most of you, I kind of feel like you're like, okay, that you might just tell this person you're going to end it and then they come towards you. Okay. And then they might come towards you and say they gave up too soon or they're sorry about the setbacks, but I am going to go into that extended and see. Let me see what your audience time messages are. Okay, coffee cup. So there is going to be a meeting and a conversation for some of you, okay? Um, and maybe some of you, there might be this thing, okay, well, can we just be friends? If you haven't heard that, I feel like you might have, you might be hearing that. But you know what, Virgo? I just kind of get a sense like some of you are going to be reading the tea leaves in a coffee cup or a tea cup tea leaf reading, getting a tea leaf reading. I just feel like there's a conversation over coffee. Okay, whether that's meeting in person, meeting and conversing, or you're just drinking a cup of coffee and the phone rings and there's a conversation that gets had. Okay, I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. I do feel like this person is going to, because they have the page of wands here. The page of wands is always like, oh, I have a crush. Oh, I like you so much. Oh, I'm so excited about you. Yes, I want to date you. I want to be connected to you. So yeah, I do feel like that's going to play out. Okay. And I, I feel like this person is going to tell you they really like you and they want to be with you and they want to date you. And that might be some of the confusion that you keep having. But wait, you say all these things. But I do say they take action though. So it's kind of convoluted, okay? <laughs> and then some of you are like, not today, I don't wanna hear it. You like talk to the hand, you right? You're holding up the phone, especially if there's a phone call and they're telling you how much you like them. It's like, you wanna, some of you are just like, okay, no, I'm avoiding this conversation, this call, this person. I'm upset, I'm angry, or I don't know what's going on. This person leaves me out in the dark. They give me very little info. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Virgo. 
Okay, Axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. Some of you, you're going to stop the pattern. Some of you are just like, I have heard it all before. You know, I have been to the circus. I have seen the puppet show. This, I've been around the block. This is not new for me. I know what to expect in this situation. I have been here before and I am not going around and around and around. And, and even though you and, and this person do feel like, okay, this is a true love, there are some behavioral issues. Love doesn't have anything. Well, love can have something to do with behavioral issues, but I feel like there's some bad behavior. Maybe some of you got involved with a bad boy or a bad girl. Someone who, you know, is, is they're not mature. They act like a child. They have childish like behavior, like the page of wands. Okay. So some of you, um, you know, you fell in love with a grown girl or a grown boy and you know, this is your person. And it's like, it's tough because they're in an adult body and they're doing adult things and they have like their successes and you know they they seem like they look from the outside like someone that could have a relationship but the behavior is like kind of crazy like what the heck is going on here with this person <laughs> all right let me get the messages of love oracle okay time apart some distance will help bring clarity okay more and more distance. I feel like for some of you, it's like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't need some distance. I need to get distance, period. Point blank period, right? Time apart, like forever. Some of you are definitely just done. And others of you are going to have this conversation. Um, I'm not going to go into the extended. I just don't have the energy. Some of you are going to go, I'll give you the extended right here. Some of you are going to go and have this conversation with this person. And some of you might just actually say, you know what? I'm not, I can't talk right now. I need, I still, some of you are in no contact and this person reaches out. Okay. They reach out while you're in no contact and you're not ready to speak to them. You might reply and just kind of say, thanks for the message. I'm, I, I can't talk. You know, I, I just kind of get that, you know, and I'm not saying no contact is in blocking. I just mean you're not responding like you're not, or you're not initiating. Okay. Yeah, retreat, time apart and retreat. I just feel like you guys, seriously, when these messages come out, this may not be for you listening, okay? So keep that in mind. This might be someone here who's listening and it's just like, oh my gosh, that's like totally exactly what's happening to me. Time apart and retreating. I feel like Virgo, you know that you love this person and some of you are just getting into this place. Like if, you, if you're not already there, I forgive, I forgive because I'm not holding on to anger and resentment. I forgive this person. I love you. But unless there's some like real chess moves, serious chess moves here, not little pawn moves, but serious chess moves and change, um, there isn't going to be anything here. There has to be change. You're not going to entertain it. You are not entertaining these uh, typical little childlike moves. It doesn't work for you. Because you know, even if there isn't anybody else for the rest of your life, it's better than being treated like dog poop. And you know that you don't, uh, you deserve better than that. Okay. You know it. So it's like, okay, well, do I stay with this person who treats me like a doormat or do I leave and then I like own the house? Okay. And I'm single and I stay single, right? What's the better option for you? Some people would rather stay in relationships and get treated bad because at least they're not alone. And then the opposite is others who are like, nope, nope, I'd rather I'll treat myself good and stay single until I meet someone who respects me. Yeah, so I feel like it's a lot of energy. Yep, going into healing. Some of you are still in healing mode. You're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. Okay, I do, you know what though? I do want to ask, because I have to know, like, is this person, okay, are they really going to like, what, is it going to be done? Is it done? Is it just completely done? Or is it going to be major? Like, all right, is it going to be completely done? Spirit, tell Virgo, is like, this is, this is the end. Is this the end? I just saw Jim Morrison, right? When I was saying that in my mind, is this the end? nine of pentacles yeah for some of you it is staying single solo yep some of you might already be there nine of pentacles is like exactly what i was saying i want to be single um 
I want to be in my luxuries. I want to enjoy my life. Okay. My solo pleasures, my gains, whatever, looking good, feeling good, um, being, you know, successful, all of that. Okay. And, and physically healthy as well and having physical gains. Yeah. For some of you and most of you, I feel like this is the end for you. There isn't even, I feel like you're just exhausted <laughs> and you're just like, let the cards fall where they may let them fall. Cause I'm fine. Okay. And, and this is mostly for those of you who are just done. Like you're making the decision to be done with this in and out energy. Okay. And for you, for those of you, I'm not talking about those of you who are still sitting in hope and hoping this person's going to come back. Those of you who are like, that's it. You're flat out on the ground. You, you got no fight left in you. You're not even listening to the conversation of anything. You might ask some questions, but for a lot of you who are just done with this, you're not going back. You're finished. They're finished. It's, it's over. Because this person, I don't know, I feel like they've had plenty of opportunity to come correct. And they, they come in correct and then they uncorrect. It's like a little bit of this back and forth energy. So yeah, I do feel like, um, yep, there you go. Ten of Swords. You're finished. It's done. Wow. This was deep. Okay, so just, I'm not predicting that it's going to be the end. I'm not predicting that it's over. I'm predicting that for those of you who have just had absolutely enough and are making this decision to be done, I don't see you returning. And it cro and so for your cross watcher, if they're listening to this, take heed because Virgo's on their way out the freaking door and they're never coming back. And some of you, you know, there's one thing about Virgos. Before Virgo physically leaves a relationship, they will mentally leave it first and emotionally leave it. They will detach first before they physically walk out the door, before the physical actions manifest. So I, I think that that's like really important for some people to know, right? And, and to, to understand, like pay attention to what's going on, okay? Because when someone is fighting for a relationship, they're, they're fighting with you, um, or there's their frustrations and they're expressing things. People who don't care anymore become indifferent. They don't fight. Okay, so I feel, Virgo, like you're going to be getting yourself into that, you know, if you're not already with this person, that you're done with it. Okay. I do see this person, though, reaching out. I do see them, like, really making effort to come towards you. But then I see them retreating or, like, coming up with excuses. Like, it's almost as if they're coming in to just... They don't want you to go until they're ready to open up or they're ready to, or until they get themselves in a place where they can finally, you know, commit and make it happen. But it feels like it, that's very controlling. That's very control because that's not fair. That's like holding hostage. That's holding someone hostage. Like, just, can you just stay? It's like, I'm going to, it's like getting grounded and I'll let you know when you can come out. I'll let you know when we're ready. You know, it's very controlling. And this person needs, you know what? If they're not going to let go of their control issues, Virgo, I feel like you're going to let go and they won't have anyone to control. So mm, this reading was interesting. Okay. So some of you are going to get a Christmas gift from this person, a material gift or something, a physical thing. Um, it feels like a gift. Well, it's a gift, but it feels like maybe around the holidays they're going to give you some kind of gift. So be careful. They might try to like buy your love or give you a ring or something. And then, you know, you just be like, uh, find out it was stolen or it was their ex's ring. I don't know. That's such a weird message. Yeah. Arguments and separation. Yeah. I just, Virgo, I feel like you're, you're putting an end to this, at least in this time period. Like you're going to speak up and probably tell them that you're sick of the mixed messages. You're bored with the situation. It's not going nowhere. You're hitting rock bottom. You've hit rock bottom and you're not pursuing it anymore. Uh, if you want to pursue it, you go ahead and pursue it. That's what I feel like you're going to say to somebody and you're going to have to come in with the bloody stumps because as far as Virgo's concerned, Virgo's like, uh-uh, um, that's it. I put all my effort and energy into this. You're coming across as a highly logical male or female. Like you're really, you're not using your heart. You're using your head. You're being very logical, intentional, and strategic. Okay. Which I actually like. And then, okay. Well, there's your extended. And then a new love start. I feel like, Virgo, 
You've been allowing someone to keep you in a holding pattern. <laughs> You've been allowing that, you know, people can't keep you in a holding pattern unless you let them. And I feel like you, the way you need to break out of the stagnation is to stop being in that pattern. You got to be willing to let go for, for there to be any chance, possibility of a new love starter for someone to really like take a look at themselves and say, you know what, I'm, I'm either I'm fully about to lose Virgo or Virgo has gone. Okay. Somebody needs to feel the loss here. And that's when the decisions really and truly get made. And you can't be waiting for that person to make up their mind. Like when you let go, you got to fully let go. Like a hundred percent, no hope left for it. Um, and you can't be sitting by the phone and be like, oh, but it's been six years and they still haven't come back. Well, it's because they're not coming back, you know? Uh, and, and even if they do, it, it could be 20 years. You've got to move on. So you can have a new love start as well and let that energy just kind of dissipate, right? Time to go. Get your, get, now it's time for you to take the chariot. Get your GPS set and take off. You know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after where you want, Virgo. Don't hesitate. Blockages are being removed so you can be able to do that. All right, let's get this person's Chinese sign and see what the Chinese messages are here. Whoop, look at me. I'm shuffling my cards all like backwards. Hold on a minute. What the heck? How did that happen? My goodness, goodness gracious. Uh, for Virgo, I can be highly unprepared. I'm not going to lie. I have those moments where I'm just like, oh, the details just drown me. It must be the Leo in me. I, I don't know that I'm a true Virgo because I'm on the cusp. And the Leo's in me is like telling Virgo, hey, Miss Secretary, you know, just throw everything in the in a box. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's really how it works for me because I'll, I'll get it like my Virgo side. I'm like two-faced. I don't know what it is. My Virgo side will come in and be like, okay, we need to sort everything out. We need to get organized. And we need to like really, you know, put labels and numbers on everything. And I'm pretty good with that. And then Leo pops up and is like, are you done yet? Come on. We got some bonfires to light. We got some trips to take. <laughs> it's a shame. They're always fighting. Okay, let me see. All right. Year of the snake. Year of the tiger. Year of the ox. Oh, ox again. Year of the dragon. Year of the pig, year of the rat, year of the dog, and year of the horse, okay? So that could be you, that could be your person, it might not be any of you, okay? Just take the reading as it resonates. Um, you know what, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to pull any charms or numbers tonight. Um, oh, okay. You just have the oracle, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. Okay, so some of you need to connect with older or elder elderly people for some reason maybe to get seek advice or seek some wisdom on your situation okay um so get really close and, and your elders don't have to be people it could be like you know an oracle like something that has the written word for some of you it's like you're going you're diving into your bible during the holiday season some of you are opening up that bible and like what the heck okay and you also have earth. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense, Virgo. That is your card right there. I feel like that's a strong message for you in, I guess, in a decision or your decision to do what you need to do. You need to be logical about this. Not, don't make, don't use your emotional thinking and making decisions. Use your logic. Um, the unicorn. Good fortune and friendship is ahead, Virgo. This is nice. Very good. Especially during the holidays. And you have the black cat. Your luck will soon change, Virgo. Okay. I don't know what it is, Virgo. I really don't. I, I, it just feels to me like you've had enough and you're going to, it's like a make or break. You're, I feel like you're fed up maybe with mixed messages or not knowing what to think or not knowing what direction to go because somebody else doesn't know what they want. I feel like Virgo, you're just going to make the decision for yourself, you know, and I do feel like though, if you make a decision here to completely let go, I mean, there is a new love start. Um, is it going to be with this person? Virgo, is this person going to wake the heck up? I just feel inclined now to ask that question. Virgo, and I know I keep I keep asking, and I don't know. I just feel like if you decide to just walk away for good, 
is this person going to wake up? Okay, the King of Wands is in the reverse. So for some of you, Aries Leo Sagittarius, this person is going to become more possessive and more trying to hold on to you, okay? Um, they're definitely going to, you're going to inflict some kind of um, injury to them where it's going to make them very weak. Like you're walking away is going to be like kryptonite to this person. Like I said, I feel like they've had you in a waiting room in a holding pattern and um, this is a bold move. Some of you have been waiting for someone to bring a chess move, but I feel like you're making this chess move. Okay. Yeah, you're going to make this person weak. They're they're going to operate out of, oh my gosh, they're going to operate out of weakness. Seriously. And for some of you, maybe you're dealing with someone who's like really nasty ass and they're going to give you the silent treatment and punish you for leaving them. And, it, you know, don't take that personally. That's just a tactic. And just be like, well, that just means that you are like, you got to be. So if you feel like you're in a catch-22 situation, the only way to really get out of a catch-22, which is a stagnant being stuck, damned if you do, damned if you don't, is to not care anymore. <laughs> That's the only way out of a, a catch-22 is, is indifference. Like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, no, damn yourself, because you just don't care. If you don't, like you say that to somebody who puts you in that, right? You, you just gotta be like, it doesn't, I'm not faced either way. That's how you win. That's how you win in a catch-22, okay? So, Page of Cups, yeah. They're, they're, this person will try to apologize, but, oh, gosh. You know, Virgo, I just... They're going to break down and apologize and try to make the sweet offers, but, you know, I, I don't know. It feels mostly like this person's just going to try to get you back in a holy pattern so you don't go anywhere, okay? So, I don't know who this message is for. I'm not too much a fan of this reading, but I feel like it's more of you, like getting real with yourself perhaps and just asking yourself what you want and what you need what's going to work for you instead of you know being in a situation where you're just waiting a lifetime for someone to wake up you could you could wind up being there for years and years and years and years just let go because even though you might be holding on um and allowing yourself to be put in a holding pattern um some of you have let go of your control issues and allowed the situation to unfold naturally and you wound up where you didn't want to be. Some of you do need to take back control of your life. Okay, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I will be back here. Um, you know what, you guys? I'm thinking because I am so overbooked with readings right now and um, with Christmas and I'm flying into the airport on Thursday and I have so much stuff to do. I'm going to do my very, very best to get your readings out on the 20th and the 21st and the 22nd, but I might just pop back in tomorrow and do a super, super long or maybe go live uh, reading, okay, just to get started for the Christmas holiday and maybe just make it so we can look into the energies going into like the 24th until like January 6th, right? I'm just so pooped, but I'm again, like I said, I'm organizing my schedule as ever so Virgo that I am. And Leo's like, come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I hope you enjoy that and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, take care.